Hey folks, this is Ryan Reiser, West Penn Wire. I'm here in our training workshop. I want to talk to you today about two connectors that we have as a solution for our miniature high resolution cable, our miniature five wire or RGB cable. What I have in my hand is a CN dash FS1 BNC. This was the original. We still sell these today. This is the original connector that we came up with for solution for that uh, mini high res cable. What we also have that we've had a little bit more success rate as far as customers liking better is part number CN-BNCP-RGB. Now there's a couple different reasons for that. What I want you to know though is both these connectors will work. It's always going to be dependent on the technician's skills in following the correct stripping instructions to make that happen. Okay. Now, if we take a closer look at these two connectors, you know, here's the original. The biggest thing you're going to see difference-wise is the size of it. The original FS1 BNC is a much larger, much taller, and longer connector. It's much more substantial and bigger. And the new connector, the BNC P-RGB, is much smaller in size. The smaller size is an advantage because whenever you're going into a floor box and you're making a bend, you've got the bend radius you have to deal with coming out of that floor box. This makes that bend radius coming out much more forgiving. Now with our 25 gauge solid cable, you're still looking at 10 times the diameter of the cable, the normal bend radius statistic that you have to take a, a notice to. But this connector right here has a cone on the inside. It's like a cylinder that necks down or cones down. So whenever you have your cable stripped properly based on our instructions, and whenever you feed this in there with your center pin and your dielectric, that dielectric, that white dielectric is going to form and it's going to push down inside there and it's going to guide that center pin so it seats nice and tight all the way up inside to that center pin that's already existing right there. So your center conductor will go inside go up inside here and then clamp on to the actual center pin. There's a window, some people refer to this as the window connector, that you can see when a center pin comes up into there. The big thing you're looking at though is to make sure it's stripped and let the dielectric feed up inside. It's much easier and it's much more forgiving. This one, the older original, you have to have perfect eyes to see down in there and feed down in there. Keep in mind there are customers and there are people out there that absolutely love these. They want to continue to use them. That's no problem. We're not making up their mind for them. But if they do ask what's the difference, the cost is pretty much the same. It's just based on their individual preference. We've had a much more successful feedback from this connector that we offer versus the old style. So again, the FS1 BNC or the BNC P-RGB, you gotta remember the size, you gotta remember the window, and you gotta remember this next down to feed it in there. This may prove a better and easier solution and give them much more likelihood of successful terminations every time they use it.